What's going on you guys, the Demi God back on Demi God ENT and today I'm bringing you another boxing reaction. So, today we're going to be checking out the most feared Mexican fighter in boxing history, Julio Cesar Chavez is I believe how you pronounce his name. So, this video comes from the channel Rhythm Boxing, shout out to Rhythm Boxing for creating this video so we could be reacting to it on my channel. So, interestingly enough, boxing videos have been some of the biggest videos on my channel which is kind of strange to me considering this is a movie channel primarily if you don't know what i do here on demi got ent we do trailer reaction show reactions movie reactions movie reviews movie news and unboxing videos so if you're interested in any of that you're in the right place man hit subscribe for all of that content all the movie content but yeah every once in a while i like to bring a fight reaction because i'm a huge boxing fan a huge fight fan a huge mma fan i love to see fights so that's why we're going to be checking this video out right here it's been quite a while since i've done a fight video so i'm happy to be getting back to these and bringing you guys another reaction so without further ado let's see what this man has for us here let's get into this boxing video let's see what they got for us let's go Chavez is one of the toughest fighters you'll ever see okay especially since Chavez has come so far without ever tasting defeat Undefeated Julio Cesar Chavez has gone to Is he still undefeated to this day? I think that Julio Cesar Chavez might be the best kept secret in boxing. Mexican style. To the boxing fandom, it conjures images of a swarming pressure fighter with a main right. left hook. Very interesting how different like ethnicities have their own style of fighting. It wasn't it's always very this way. With Mexico producing brilliant fighters of many styles. The world has only one man to thank for this massive shift in perception. Julio Cesar Chavez grew up okay. in a family of 11 in an abandoned rail car. At age 16, he leaves home, abandoned a pair rail of gloves, car? God damn. and a rail ticket to Tijuana. With a dream to give his mother a house and a work ethic that would change the way the world saw Mexican boxing. Chavez okay. fought at a frenetic pace. Look how old this fight was. Both in the here. ring and in terms of his career. Oh man, TKO. Let's get into the fight clips, man. I'm ready to see the fights. In his three years and two months as a pro, Chavez had rung up a 43-0 record with 36 knockouts. He fought and won by knockout what a brutal sport, every man. single month. Oh. It was fight or go hungry. Julio Cesar Chavez this dude seems like a straight savage. Rhythm Boxing. Go check out the full video. We're not going to react to the full video here, guys. We're just going to check out some of these clips here. He gets a crack at the vacant lightweight title. His opponent was fellow Mexican Mario Martinez. Okay, so we fought Martinez in the lightweight division. was also okay. on a similar tear and with a similar style to Chavez. The I Mexican just got done playing uh, knew a great fight night fight champion. was great in the game. making. The fight was held in the Olympic Auditorium in LA. It may have gone off three days early, but it was the finest fireworks display Mexico could produce for Independence Day. Okay. They stuck to each other like cold rice. It's an odd comparison. Yeah, it's not too hard. Seems to me, uh, Martinez is landing more blows. Oh, Chavez delivers a clinic of infighting. Got him leaking there. God damn. Devastating blow. Which was mercifully called off after eight. My God, look at his face, man. Stop the fight. And there he is, crown champion. Good shit, good shit. There was a palpable buzz around Chavez, who soon made his debut on American television against the respected black mamba from Michigan, Roger okay. Mayweather. Floyd's uncle and future trainer was a renowned puncher with a lethal right hand. 
Now is he legitimately a part of the Mayweather Chavez family? Chavez put the pressure and name? cut off his escape routes like a Mexican mongoose. The slip in the jab. Good technique. You can't even land a punch on this guy. Roger realized he couldn't run from this creature. Tried his he best to hold his him. ground with insane. skill and to earn skill. some respect. Chavez walked through it and finished it quickly. There you go, caught him. He's stumbling. Oh, man. God damn. Done. Stop the fight. Man, this dude is a savage, man. The two would meet a second time. Both would land their best shots okay, got a rematch once here. again. Roger found that there was nothing he could do to discourage the stoic Mexican swarmer. He beat him so bad the first time. How the hell did he get that rematch? He's not fighting back anymore. It's very rare the kind of willpower you see. Look at the pace and the Chavez pressure. With his the guy never gets off. Chavez finished him in 10. Man, devastating. Chavez's next big debut came HBO at Madison Sports. Square Garden against lightly regarded Refugio Rojas. Chavez decided to put on a show. Oh man. The sound effects that he's adding into the video it here makes a vulgar it display even crazier. Technical skill. Those body shots, ripping the body. Chavez landed about a dozen straight liver shots. A dozen liver shots? How do you take that? But Rojas was as brave a man as I have ever seen. Brave and durable, however, can be mutually exclusive. Right. Hey, he's trying. He's in there trying his best, man. It was a mismatch mercifully ended quickly. He slipped the hook and fell, and he, the dude fell to the ground after he slipped it. Okay. I've heard his name before. Chavez However, I haven't heard much about him. Of the so 130 pound this video right here is very important. And makes the jump to challenge at 135. He took on Puerto Rican puncher Edwin Rosario. Rosario thought he could stand and trade with Chavez. He banked on body oh, weight man. and a big punch. I mean, what to else are you supposed to do? Him. You can't run away from him. He's gonna stay on you the whole time. You kind of have to just go face to face with him. Look at the slipping, man. These guys can't touch him. Look at the head movement. The skill. Chavez Starting delivered to catch a him. clinic of cold, calculated inside fighting. Yeah, broke him that's down what this seems distance, like. He seems very calculated. What evolved into a career-altering beating that went on far longer than it needed to. Oh, my God. His eye is shut completely. He looks untouched after his fights. He hit me once. <laughs> the marquee performance of Julio Cesar Chavez he hit him once. in 1990. His opponent was Meldrick Taylor a standout of the legendary 1984 Olympic team. The greatest okay. little fight money can buy. About between two extraordinarily talented, this guy can undefeated do. He looks champions up. He looks ready to go. Seem to be perfect we already know what's about to happen, another. though. If ever Chavez there was is about to walk through this, man. For great expectations, this is it. He may look good doing it. He is doing this exactly is a fantastic video. Rhythm boxing. Meldrick fought his way to challenge Chavez for his titles at 140 pounds. It was okay. a brilliant fight. Okay, he's going for the body there. Try to take off some of that. Oh, man. Caught you with the left hook. Meldrick's unreal hand speed and combinations showed up the subtle but brutal body work Chavez did. Good combos. Some flurry. Okay, he's a formidable foe. Give him his respect. As they rolled into the night, Chavez seemed to be down going into the final round. Oh, man. He's catching him. This is the first challenge that we've seen he had. It's impossible to conceive that Chavez 
They're really going at it, man. So he's losing this fight right now. Down a few rounds, right? He's got to get that KO. Something tells me he's about to knock With him out. With just seconds left. Oh, man. Seconds Chavez left. Drops Meldrick. He had to survive just a few seconds. Man. Dropped him back. left on the clock. Chavez snatches victory <laughs> from the jaws of defeat. He's old school ref, man. With the controversial KO. Meldrick protested man. and called for a rematch. The damage Chavez did in the hey, first fight would he change deserves Taylor a rematch as a more fighter than his last forever. Does. After That's for sure. That's crazy. Stopped him in the final round. Good shit. All right, guys. We're about to stop this that right there. So that was the most feared Mexican fighter in boxing history. Julio Cesar Chavez, that dude right there, is a straight up savage. Again, shout out to Rhythm Boxing for that video. They put together a fantastic video. Great editing in that video there. Very informative, like I said. I didn't know much about this boxer. They just enlightened me into who he was, his background, and the things like that. And of course, his career as we go along the years here. And man, this dude is a savage inside of the ring. I mean, he really is. You can see the technique, the head movement, the slips, the punches, but also he's very calculated and very technical. It's not just, you know, pure aggression with no skill to it. This is a lot of skill. These dudes are barely landing a punch on him. The one guy in that other fight landed one punch on him. How do you go through a full boxing match with somebody and the guy lands one punch on you? You slip everything else. That's masterclass boxing right there. So I definitely enjoyed that video. If you have any future recommendations, boxing, MMA that you'd like me to react to, comment the video down in the comment section down below i take recommendations from the comment section down below so anyway guys those are my thoughts on this video let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below i already told y'all what i do here on demi god ent i do movie content so if you'd like to stay for that you could stay for that or if you want to hit subscribe just so you can see my fight reactions every once in a while i'm cool with that too make sure to hit the subscribe button hit the thumbs up button and hit the bell notifications guys because with the bell notifications you can see when i post i post multiple videos a day on this channel so that's what you can expect out of me Anyway, guys, if you don't already know, I am the Demi God, the chosen one here on Demi God ENT. And I'm out of this thing, man. I appreciate y'all for watching with me. Peace.